The Geekom IT13 2025 edition is the newest mini PC from our sponsor Geekom. It features an Intel Core i9-13900HK chipset, two USB 4 ports as well as 32GB of RAM and an up to 2TB SSD. We love the fact that you can easily open up this mini PC and change the RAM and SSD but also add another SATA SSD or SATA hard drive. So without much effort, you can add tons of storage yourself. In this video, you will see how the IT13 performs in Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. We also played a couple of games and you will get to look inside the mini PC. Let's start with the design. If you're looking for a nice looking and powerful PC about the size of a TV box, here it is. Measuring 11.7 by 11.3 cm and 5 cm in height, the IT13 will basically fit anywhere on a desk and can be easily mounted on the back of a monitor or TV with its included VESA mount. The exterior of the PC is very much designed with practicality in mind, but the full metal case feels high quality and looks great as well. On the top side, there's nothing apart from a Geekom logo. The front panel has two USB-A ports, a headphone jack and an LED lit square power button. On the left and right sides, there's a metal mesh that allows the fans to pull air in. The right side features a Kensington lock, which can be very handy for locking the PC if you use it somewhere where it could get stolen. The left side has a full size SD card reader and the same air intake mesh. On the rear, we find the majority of our ports. There are two USB-A and two USB 4.0 ports respectively, as well as two HDMI 2.0 display outputs. A total of four external 4K displays can be connected or a single 8K display. The mini PC has Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth of course, but there's also a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. It's a nice touch that the fans only blow heat out of the back side of the PC away from the user. The Geekom IT13 offers a key advantage over a Windows laptop or Mac mini, its user upgradability. If you open it up, you can change the two DDR4 RAM sticks yourself very easily and also change the M.2 SSD. To see how user friendly it is, we decided to open up the mini PC ourselves and give it a shot. Compared to other mini PCs we've opened in the past, this upgrade experience is a walk in the park. Unscrewing the four easily accessible Phillips head screws lets us pull off the bottom cover of the PC, where you will find a pretty sturdy ribbon cable attached between the motherboard and the bottom cover. The bottom cover has just enough space to squeeze a SATA SSD in, which is a rare feature on any mini PC. This is also why we have the ribbon cable connecting the two pieces. After carefully putting the bottom cover to the side, you will find the two 16GB DDR4 RAM sticks neatly arranged next to the occupied full-size M.2 SSD slot, in our case with 1TB of storage. Next to it, there's a half-sized M.2 SSD expansion slot in case you want to add more speedy storage capacity. And that's about it. The fact that there's no flimsy Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna cable getting in the way during the upgrade is actually a huge advantage and we're surprised at how much Geekom's design have improved over previous iterations. We think it's much easier than with Geekom's past mini PCs. Now let's get to the performance. The IT13 features the Intel Core i9-3900HK, a 14-core, 20-threaded piece of a mobile CPU that can run with up to 5.4 GHz. That's very powerful together with the 32GB of RAM, which you get as a standard. And here's the kicker. Unlike massive tower PCs, the Geekom IT13 only uses 45 watts of power at max performance, even including the integrated Intel Iris Xe GPU. How the hell is that possible? We'll tell you how. The advertised 5.4 GHz peak boost clock speed is really just for single core tasks and nothing else, since 45 watts is barely enough for even a single CPU core to get to its top speed. Let's use Cinebench as an example. In Cinebench R23, running the CPU single core test sees boost speeds up to 5.2 GHz, 
but also CPU hotspot temperatures around 100 degrees Celsius before the fans kick in. We'll get to that in a second. Incredibly, a single CPU core alone can use a whole 30 watts of power in this test as measured by HV Info. Obviously, having six hyper-threaded performance cores and another eight efficiency cores sharing only 45 watts of power won't result in as crazy multi-threaded performances as a desktop equivalent. In Cinebench single core, our IT13 gets a good 1680 points. The desktop i5-13600K, which is the closest desktop CPU in terms of specs, is only 20% faster. In multi-core, however, the desktop i5 gets double the score of the Geekcom Mini PC. This test sort of illustrates the problem with the thermal and power limited CPU. But you can't really blame Geekcom for this lackluster multi-core performance since proper cooling is obviously very difficult for a form factor as small as the IT30 mini PC. And if you want to buy a mini PC, you want a small body where there's no room for very large fans. And you might not want to use so much power anyways. So a more fair comparison is against other mini PCs and laptops. The Geekcom IT13 actually manages to almost beat every device we've tested in Geekbench CPU single core speeds with only the Acer Swift 14 AI equipped with the new Intel Core Ultra 7 having the same score. The multi-core performance is a bit less impressive where even 8-core, eight 8-threaded eight laptop chips on the Acer Swift and Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro come slightly ahead of our mini PC. In general, the Geekcom IT13 clearly offers better CPU performance for its price compared to other devices we've tested, with all laptops in our test costing at least $1000. Graphic tests in 3 Mark are also alright. Although the Intel Iris iGPU is no match against more modern iGPUs, the IT13 manages to score just 20% lower than the Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro in the Wild Drive Extreme test. The IT13 seems to struggle a bit more in Time Spy and Fire Strike, but the overall scores are still very reasonable. The performance of the Geekcom IT13 seems like it would be perfect for heavy single threaded tasks like using a digital audio workstation such as Ableton Live 12 or FL Studio, which often struggle on lower end hardware and become too laggy to use. And we are happy to report that Ableton Live runs smoothly regardless of how many live effects and MIDI instruments we throw at it. The Geekcom IT13 can also absolutely handle most tasks in Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro very well, but the performance mismatch between the iGPU and CPU is very noticeable here. Just dragging the text around a large image in Photoshop is pretty laggy at first. But the performance is much better when we disable the graphics processor setting in Photoshop, letting the CPU handle the workload instead. In Premiere Pro, the iGPU puts up a formidable fight and we are able to edit large 4K files with relative ease. It's only when we import 6K raw footage superimpose clips over each other and set playback resolution to full where the mini PC starts really struggling. The Intel Core i9-3900HK is massively overpowered for gaming, especially when paired with its own integrated Iris Xe GPU. In a game like Rainbow Six Siege, the IT13 manages to hit around 60 FPS. However, the iGPU only gets around 13 watts of power on average during a match, despite there being no CPU bottleneck. This shows that the CPU itself is so power hungry that it limits how much power the iGPU can use, even in gaming scenarios, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Counter Strike 2 struggles similarly. On the lower preset in 1080p, we can only hit a maximum frame rate of 65 and setting Fidelity FX to performance only gives us another 10 FPS. This machine is definitely not the best for a competitive shooter experience. On the other hand, lighter games like League of Legends and Hades can easily achieve high refresh rates at 1080p and Fortnite impresses with a 90 FPS average at 1080p very low. So while there are better gaming PCs out there, casual gaming is definitely possible on this machine. The Geekcom IT13 ships with Windows 11 Pro that's clean with zero bloatware, very nice. We don't have much to say about Windows, it's just standard Windows 11 Pro. 
but since this is a mini PC, it's nice that it supports Microsoft's remote desktop feature. This allows you to remote access the Geekcom IT13 from a separate Windows PC. And that makes this mini PC suited for running signs or billboards or kiosk systems for payment. Its ability to power four external displays is also great if you're looking for something for a storefront or business. So what do we think of the Geekcom IT13 2025 edition? It has a couple of weaknesses, of course. Its graphic performance could be better for gaming and under load, you do hear those fans, but it's not marketed as a gaming PC. Overall, we think that this mini PC is a good office or home workstation that can handle pretty much every task you throw at it. We love that you can connect up to four displays at once and the high single threaded performance means applications are fast and snappy. And if you do need a lot of storage, you can easily add up to nine terabyte of internal SSD storage yourself. That's a very nice. 